For those who don't have a friend or a loved one with autism, it can be difficult to understand what life is like for those who do. I'm Natish Bassono, and tonight I was in Vaughan, where one family has put together a fresh take on a famous viral video with the hope of helping more people understand what it's like for them. <laughs> he loves to play. He's very Good affectionate. Job. Good job. And he's got the moves. His parents say if you get a chance to meet him, he'll dance away with your heart. Meet nine-year-old Matteo Tripolino. Matteo was diagnosed with the autism spectrum disorder when he was just three and a half years old. He is nonverbal. He may only speak one or two words. He communicates thanks to a program called Proloco To Go, a symbol-based communicator on his iPad. Once we got the diagnosis, it hit us hard. But at the same time, at the same time, we were accepting it. Sorry. We, we knew it was coming. So we accepted it, but it was still hard to accept. And we just kind of went on with it. Mateo's parents say every day is different. Some days are good. Some days you get up on time, you get out the door on time, and you're able to do everything perfectly. Some days are more challenging. Sometimes going to a birthday party and hearing all the noises and he just will start screaming and want to leave. For a normal child, those are the good times for these kids where they're getting together and they're socializing and they're having fun. For Mateo, unfortunately, it's well, he can't deal with that stuff. Daniela is part of a Facebook group called Autism Superpowers, which has about 800 members. Members are families with children who, just like Mateo, are very special. Something Daniela wanted to showcase by featuring 30 families across the GTA in this video. It's a Canadian spin-off of a viral UK video featuring families of children with Down syndrome. That video has collected more than 3 million views in less than two weeks. Autism Superpowers video showcases the picture exchange system that most kids on the spectrum use to communicate. We translated the song into pecs and then after we basically gave each person a line and we wanted to show the world how amazing these kids were and to show that it's easy just to accept love and understand them. Okay, can we go a little bit slower? And for Daniela, it's about showing the world that her son is one of a kind. Even though he can't speak, um, he's really, really intelligent and can get to you. He's got that charisma. He's got that charm in him. He's known as the Casanova at the school um, because he will just come up to anybody and give you a hug or a kiss or whatever. He's very, very affectionate. Especially the females when he wants to Autism Canada says an estimated 1 in 66 Canadian children and youth between the ages of 5 to 17 have autism spectrum disorder. And for families, the adjustments aren't just emotional or practical, they're also financial. Later in the show, we'll tally up the many thousands of dollars in cost for the Tripolinos and families like them and why they're calling for more government support. Nine-year-old Matteo Tripolino is one of the one in 66 children in Canada who are living with autism. Earlier, I told you about Matteo and his family who are reaching out, trying to create some understanding on World Autism Awareness Day. His mom, Daniela, was also frank about the daily challenges of having a child with autism. And for many, those difficulties extend to family finances. He's got that charisma. He's got that charm in him. He's known as the Casanova at the school um, because he will just come up to anybody and give you a hug or a kiss or whatever. He's very, very affectionate. Especially the females when he wants to <laughs> Matteo was diagnosed on the autism spectrum when he was just 22 months old. He's nonverbal. He may only speak one or two words and use a symbol-based communicator to speak for him. He requires 20 hours of various therapy from speech to occupational health. His diagnosis wasn't easy for his parents, who say they also struggled with a long process to get financial support from the government. So let me get this straight. About You said 18 weeks. 18 months. It, sorry, 18 months. To get just the diagnosis. Just the diagnosis. Just the diagnosis. Four years for funding? Four years for funding. Because you needed the diagnosis in order to be accepted on the wait list for the funding. So having gone through this very lengthy process, what are your thoughts on, on 
the program in the place. whole system yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> ridiculous um, it is they're they're losing these kids because a lot of people I mean we were fortunate because we were able to put them into therapy and we had the support team to be able to do it financially but a lot of people don't. The Cipollinos say that before they got support, paying out of their pocket was like paying for a second mortgage. They started a fundraiser called Together We Are Better, which they started for themselves, but now support families with children with neurological differences. This made the event will enter its sixth year, and it raises money to help others deal with the cost of therapy. So you, we can say maybe 1700 2000 a month, a month. And that's just for minimum therapy. This year's federal budget earmarked $20 million over five years to support the needs of people with autism and their families. And while boys are four to five times more likely to be diagnosed with autism than girls, Daniela wants the world to know that today on World Autism Awareness Day, her son is one of a kind. When you see Matteo and, and you know how he interacts with people, how he is with us right now, you know, what do you want the world to understand about your child? Um that he's he's special he's amazing now this story was brought to us by city news viewer just like you if you have a story or news in the making here are just some of the ways you can contact us Ms. Persono, city news